you know? Bikini bottoms actually look pretty cute as a beanie. <laughs> my YouTube family. So today I am doing a May favorites. I don't know, when is the last time homegirl did a May favorites? Or any favorite video actually. I haven't done a favorite video in probably two years. So I'm just gonna do my May favorites and <laughs> do you notice a new background? Mm -hmm. I have moved. If you guys would like to know why I moved, watch till the end of this video and I'll give you guys an explanation on why I moved. And before you ask, I know you're gonna ask for a home tour or a room tour, living room tour, whatever tour you would like, okay? Just give this video a thumbs up if you would like some type of home tour and leave me a comment down below if you would like a house tour, a bedroom tour, a bathroom, a living room, kitchen, whatever. Just let me know in the comments and I will do it per your request. Yes, okay. Well, I have a lot of made favorites, so I'm just gonna get right into the video. This I am most excited about. I have not worn it yet, but it's already my favorite, okay? And this is, oh, girl. I know you're like, what is this? This is my um, new bathing suit. Mm -hmm. I got it from American Apparel. I'm not sure if they're in stores yet. I got it when I was in New York at BeautyCon. American Apparel had a booth at BeautyCon and they were selling clothes. Well, duh, they sell clothes. Uh, but yeah, I got this bathing suit. Hey, look at this. Look at this. I know a lot of people are like, uh, about high-waisted bikinis, but hey, if you are like me and you promise yourself, oh, this is the summer for my bikini body and it's just not happening, well then, you just have to get these high-waisted bikinis, okay? Have you ever had those summer barbecue parties where your friend has a pool? And it's like, girl, why would you have a pool and have a barbecue at the same time? Because I wouldn't be in my bathing suit and my stomach's not hanging out after I had those ribs. That is why you should get a high-waisted bikini, okay? Yes, it would just suck it all in while you can still be in your bathing suit. This is what the top looked like. It just, it's a very basic triangular bikini and uh, one downside about this is that there is no padding. And it's like, have you ever considered us with itty bitty titties? Did you? Every time I wear a bikini like this, and hello, when you go in the pool, it's gonna be cold, so like your nipples are showing. So how, how are you gonna not have any type of padding in here? First of all, I already have no boobies, okay? And not that I really care to have boobies, so that part I can really X out. But the whole thing about my nipple showing is just not cute. So you guys, if you have a solution to how you can conceal your nipple while you wear these um, to where they are not padded, let me know in the comments. I don't know why I rambled for so long for the first item in my, in my May favorites. Let me just kind of speed it up. The first thing is this palette right here. This is my Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. Oh, the colors are beautiful. Okay, so I love this palette so far. Next thing is my Benefit, the Pore Professional. This is just like a touch of powder and I keep it in my purse. You basically just um, open this part up, the top part, and the powder comes out from there and it locks so you don't have to worry about it spilling in your purse. And then you put the lid on and then the brush is on the other end like so, so you can touch up. The only downside about this is that when you touch up your powder, you don't have a mirror so you can't see, but I mean, the product itself is amazing. It will cover all your pores and it just makes you look flawless. This is an amazing, amazing powder. Next thing is another powder. This is, I'm not sure if this is in stores yet. I got this sent to me by CoverGirl. They wanted me to test it out before it launches. And this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And girl, if there's one thing I recommend from the drugstore, it would be this. I have never used a powder like this. It is amazing. Yesterday, I had one of those no makeup makeup days and I just used this powder all over my face and it looked amazing. So the next thing is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Again, <clears throat> not sure if this is available in stores yet, but oh! This is the best thing for under eye concealing. It covers your dark circles like a dream. It's not cakey at all. And like even throughout the day, it doesn't cake up from your smile lines, you know? It's just amazing. I love this concealer. This right here, the Neutrogena One Step Gentle Cleanser. <sighs> okay, I know this is my reaction for every product right now. I'm just like, <sighs> This seriously is like, oh, okay, why? Because have you ever worn, well, I'm sure we all have, okay? You know those really hard to remove mascaras or eyeliner? This will take it off. This just kind of saves you the money where you don't have to buy that eye makeup remover. You can just take everything off with this. Okay, next thing from the drugstore, actually this is my last drugstore product, is this. This. This is the holy grail. I think it's really normal. I think a lot of girls think like, 
when you have a smell, it's not normal. It's normal. Just think about your armpits, for example. Your armpits throughout the day, your arms are normally down like this. So there's just a lot of sweat and a lot of humidity going down there because you're not airing it out, you know? When it's down there, you have panties on all day long, you have pants on, whatever, and your, your, um, your lips your lips down there, they stick together, you know? So it's pretty much just like an armpit, you know? It gets no ventilation, it's humid down there, and it would just naturally produce sweat, and sweat has a smell, okay? I'm not saying your vagina smells, because if your vagina smells, then that's a whole different story. That's like, you need to go to the doctor and figure that out, and no shame, okay? We've all been there, we had that before. This will get rid of that odor from just sweat. Next thing, I'm just gonna go through these really quickly because I am talking way too long in this video. It's just starting to get boring, right? This is the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. This dry shampoo is amazing. It really takes out the smell in your hair. So I love this little thing. Next thing is my Too Faced Bulletproof Brow. This is amazing. It will make your brows look like mine. <laughs> My brows are cute, right? It just looks so pretty. It looks so natural. It's like a moussey texture and it just makes it look like you have more brows. It's not one of those moussey textures that look very shiny and it looks like your eyebrows are drawn in with a sharpie. This one makes it look very feathery, very airy, and just natural. I love this stuff. So the last thing I have here is the Caviar Clinical Daily Root and Scalp Stimulator. This is from Sephora. So what it's supposed to do is basically help stimulate your scalp so that your hair can grow faster. I wouldn't say that it made my hair grow faster, but another thing that it did claim is that it helps uh, absorb oil in your hair and I noticed that whenever I use this I can go three days without washing my hair and even though you do see some oil it's not as oily as it would normally be so I love this stuff and that's it to this video I hope you guys enjoyed and now let me just give you guys a little update on why I am moving so the reason why I moved it's basically because my lease was up at my apartment and I know some of you guys are like why are you moving all the time and I really have been moving all the time and I really hope that this is the last time ever and I really do think it is when I moved the first few times You guys saw that I moved that was in LA I was not familiar with LA and I just felt like I didn't know where exactly I wanted to live So I moved twice when I was in LA when I moved back to the Bay Area I chose this place that was really small and at first I was thinking well I'm just gonna sign a short lease because at the time I couldn't find a place that I really liked yet So I chose this place that was really small as you guys saw in my vlogs and it just wasn't working out The reason why for the other place too is because my car got broken into a few times and it just it just didn't feel that safe the apartment itself was safe but it was just the parking garage wasn't safe because they anybody could basically come in okay it wasn't like really locked good especially throughout the day they leave it open throughout the whole day so there's been a few mishaps that happened with my car so I just didn't feel safe there and the space was too small so I decided to move and now I'm at this place and I really like it so far it's been two days and it's just it has just been great I just love having more space and I can't wait till I can show you guys around the house so make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you guys would like to see any type of tour and make sure you leave me a comment down below with what kind of tour you would like to see and I will see you guys in my next one This is how we do our thumbnail, mm -hmm. you know? Bikini bottoms actually look pretty cute as a beanie. <laughs> there needs to be a more creative way about doing thumbnails. Ah, 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 gonna break my teeth, gonna break my teeth. Fast, fast, I'm running out of memory. Oh, shit, P and pose. Ah, shit. <laughs> he leaned in for a kiss and I just wasn't ready. And when he kissed me, it was like, he was all moving and getting into it, and I was just like, I don't know what to do. What? You were bored? You were so bored. Hey. Hello. Stop being a daddy's girl.